Are you thinking about buying some land here in the winter? Well in this video we'll tell you a few things you need to think about if you are going to purchase land during the winter here in Montana. All right, so I climbed all the way up this mountain to give you a better view of Montana. So the least you can do is subscribe to our channel. And when you do, don't forget to hit the little bell and you'll be notified every time we make a new video about Montana. So one of the first things you need to think about here in Montana in the winter time, if you're looking at land, is if you can even get to it. I came up to look at this piece of property and it's not even plowed. I was just able to get off the road and get to this point. So you got to walk about a half mile to even get to this lot because there's really no reason to plow it right now. And so a lot of properties that you may be looking at could be in this same situation. I talked about it in our winter video as well, but make sure you have a good vehicle if you're driving around looking at properties, especially if they're outside of town. Because as you can see right here, this road is so steep. Uh, if you don't have good tires, you're going to slide right down it. And the other thing, if you are looking at land in the winter, you need to find out too who's doing the plowing. If it's part of the HOA, if there is an HOA, or if it's all you, if you're going to need uh, need it plowed or hire somebody to plow it for you. But obviously, as you can see in this road, you're gonna you're gonna need to plow this, or you're never going to get up at it uh, during the winter. If you do decide to look at properties like this in the winter, you may want to bring some snowshoes or cross-country skis. We've done that before to get back into some of these areas that aren't plowed uh, because it could be a pretty long walk and to be trudging through a couple feet of snow uh, is, not a, is not a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind if you're looking around out here in the winter. So if this spot looks familiar, it's because this is the exact place I did the video last fall uh, about buying land in Montana. And I just wanted to show you what it's like in the winter around here. As you can see, the biggest difference is all the snow. So one of the things that comes up uh, if you're looking at land in the winter with snow on the ground is finding the property pins. That's obviously a bigger challenge. And I would strongly suggest getting a surveyor involved or somebody with a metal detector be able to find the pins uh, with all this snow. Another thing is I know that I was here in the fall so I know nothing's under the snow but you may want to uh, beware of what you find under the snow. Obviously you don't know if there's a bunch of garbage back there that's covered by the snow right now. Uh, you don't know what's under the snow. Right, right now there's a few feet of snow so there could be all kinds of things under there. So what I would suggest uh, when you find a piece of property is to go to Google Maps and search it so you get a satellite view during the summer uh, so you can see what's around it and if there is is anything on the property. As far as walking around the property, uh, again a challenge with the snow. I talked about it earlier with snowshoes or cross-country skis. That is a good idea. If it's a big piece of land you may even need a snowmobile. So. These are just a few things to keep in mind. Another thing to consider also is just how easy it is to get in and out of the property during the winter. So it is a good idea to come up here and, and check out these pieces of property while there's snow on the ground. If you're going to live here year round, you're going to need to know how hard it is to get in and out. Um, like I showed earlier, there can be some very difficult properties to access. This is fairly level, but again, something to think about if you're here in the winter. So if you're traveling here from out of state to look at properties during the winter, uh, if, especially if they're off the grid properties, more than likely they're not going to be plowed and you're going to need a uh, way to get back to them if you want to tour them this time of year. So make sure you contact myself or the agent that has those properties to see if you can even get to them this time of year. Uh, but Montana is great in the winter. We have skiing, we have all the other winter sports. So if you enjoy winter activities, it's not a bad time to look at properties. It just takes a little extra work. Thank you for watching our video. Please call, text, or email for more information. And don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.